Well, this is probably our largest group of wildebeest that we have down here in Juma, so nothing like what we see in the Masai Mara, and I've been seeing some photos coming out of the Mara Triangle and Mara area, and it seems the herds are really being building up, and it looks as though there are some really big numbers coming through, which is fantastic news, and hopefully it will continue through the next few weeks across the TV shows for the team in Kenya, so that they can keep up with that whole mass migration and the event that is the migration. Now this particular group of wildebeest, unfortunately for them, are a little bit shy of the vehicle. So they've stood up and moved out of the shade which they were sitting in and are now moving off into a thicket to try and sort of distance themselves from the vehicle. Now unfortunately I think these are the guys that were chased around by the lions the other night or maybe one of the victims of the lions. I know that Ali and Taylor were both telling me that between the lions and the hyenas there was bits of wildebeest on quarantine and so I think this is the herd that was chased because this herd generally spends most of their time up on quarantine area and it seems now they've pushed quite far south and are heading down and even further south away from quarantine which would be expected if you were chased around by lions I would also be heading in the opposite direction but what is quite cool to see is that it looks like some of these wildebeest are already starting to show signs of being pregnant. You can see that female is just waddling off a little bit. Their tummies are starting to swell. Now most of them will give birth around November, December time here in, in the Sabi Sands. And so I would imagine that the male wildebeest has been quite busy and that means that some of these girls are starting to show signs of pregnancy. Ultimately it's not that far away now if we think about how fast time goes and soon they'll be really heavy and when they get heavy like that it's going to be the worst period for these females because they're going to be hunted a lot more than they are now at this stage of the game the young ones that were born last year november december are the ones that are being hunted excessively so like that little one that's walking away there that's what will be targeted by both lion leopard and even hyenas but as these females get heavily pregnant so they become much slower and you'll find that the cats as well as even the dogs will start going after them and trying to tackle those females now that they're a bit slower. So it's going to be a tough time over the next six months for these wildebeest and hopefully all will be sorted and they'll be able to stay safe and that the herd will continue to grow because like I say it's probably our largest grouping that we do see here at Juma. They often come in from sort of Impala Plains area and then across and down towards quarantine. Now Megan if you're trying to talk to me I do apologize because I can't hear you at all so it seems as though the comms are breaking up a little bit where I am at the moment so hopefully Megan's not trying to talk to me but they are disappearing a little bit into a thicket so I'm going to carry on and see if I can't just get round because there is a little fire break that runs just in front of us here and so